a 33-8 run over the second and third quarters to win that game. And we are running tonight from Wells Fargo Center. Do that kind of rebounding, finishing the defensive exchange. I played with Terry Porter, Clyde Drexler. They did the same. Only Nikola Jokic of Denver, their starting center, averaging more as Simmons goes streaking to the goal for the Sixers' first hoop. Got him again. Yep, indeed, a pathway to the hoop. The spot by Tobias Harris, averaging just over 13. That time ran for himself and for Tobias. Tobias was the one with the ball in his hands, and Pio with the answer. He's so silky smooth, so efficient in his movement. Ben, he stayed in college for a number of years and was able to develop on campus. And B with a double, open, Curry for a three. Beautifully done by the Sixers. Highly valued hockey assist. Yes, and that's the Laker old school with Shaquille O'Neal kind of offense. Beal again. Joel looking for a call with a whistle. The crew chief, Ed Malloy, is silent. Open <laughs> underneath, Brian, who slams for two. And Bede, who's been aggressive early on, but little to show for it. And how about Denny Abdia, the rookie from Israel, coming over to help out defensively. That said, asphalted pavement. Curry measuring a three, and down it goes for Seth Curry. And he's done it consistently early on. Kudos to the big boy. Spoken like a fellow big man who knows. The shot clock here recycled. Here is Curry for three, and he hit it. Matisse Thibel with the unenviable assignment of dealing with Bradley Beal, who is after his own miss. I'll tell you what, Man. that is fighting the good fight. Curry, who is four for four from beyond, and Simmons to score in this game. See the spacing again, boom, too easy. Too yeah, easy. Yeah, indeed, what happened there was... You just said it, Mark, it was an important thing that you just said. The fact that it's, what, almost nine minutes into this ball game, a guy like him would be a little bothered by the fact that he hasn't shot... Beal is two for two from beyond, where so far in the young season he has struggled. This guy is not. It's a Curry three. Wow! Automatic is set. Number 12, Jerome Robinson on the floor for the first time for Washington. Ditto the big man, the veteran Robin Lopez. Nicely done by Shake Milton, struggling a bit from beyond the arc, able to drill that one. So Shake has nine points now in a six-minute run. Danny Green, his starter, is back. He's in for Matisse Thibel. Simmons a burst to the hoop got it done the Wizards not an especially good Simmons about half a foot here on Westbrook maybe more forced to give it up they swing for a green three and down it goes well Embiid has only one point he's 0 for 6 from the floor the good news is the Sixers are clicking anyway he's got two that said we got Bradley Beal on the floor back out of the batter's box a little bit same thing here. You kind of sit. Whoop. Uh, <laughs> uh, all bets are over now. Joel is unleashed. See the Sixers pushing him right after the make as well. Simmons count it and a foul. Here at Wells Fargo Center, where his team has not lost a game since December of 2019. Dude. They promptly went home, had a four game homestand, lost two to Orlando. That is Bryant and a foul. One of the things he's doing a much better job at is controlling his emotions. Embiid stepping in and getting to, so Joel Embiid. What you do to increase your percentages is you get high percentage shot. That time Joel not being denied. All the way to the cup. Look at this dude again. Simmons off the Bertans miss. 9 of 11. Come on. There you go, <laughs> my man. Curry again. And Bede, good luck to anybody in his way. Count it and a foul. Well, we all know he's head and shoulders. The most gifted offensive player on this team is Tobias Drives. 11 of 13, nearly 85%. That's the third time early on as Beal answers again that the 76ers have hit 70s. Last year, no John Wall. Davis Bertans missing a substantial amount of time as Westbrook comes up with a steal. And Rui Hachimura. 7 from long range, 72 from the line. It's just the Sixers numbers are gaudy. Yep, and as you can see, they're getting some high percentage shots as well as Milton got all the way to the cup. Now Green with a steal, it's for three. Got it! Voted for 32 points in the first half. Mm. 
screen for Harris, who threw it down. Nicely done. Curry had his, not only his hand on it, but it had possession. Somehow it dribbled to Bertans, who just catches and shoots. Bradley Beal now has some company of double figures as Embiid from the floor in this game. Seven of his next nine after that as Beal continues to do his thing. This is getting scary now. Bradley Beal with 35. Beal is also five of six from beyond. There is Westbrook attempting a three and he drops it. To lead at 14. Beal, now MB trying to lasso him. 37 points for Bradley Beal. Away from tying a season high. His career high, by the way, is 55 as Ben Simmons came up with a steal and here come the Sixers in flight. Green, another three. Yes! That's how you're allowed those after making a few. Beal leaking, not once but twice. And now he's tied a season high at 39, and Doc Rivers didn't want to see that. For franchise history. Harris alone for a three. A, I, I got to tell you, that pass from Ben Simmons, that was on a railroad track along the baseline through a thicket of hands. Kim, any more circuitous than that, going via Russia to come back to the NBA. Well, now it's getting ridiculous. Beal hits the three, and he's fouled. He will go to the line looking for his 45th point of the game. Sixers' only loss coming with Embiid out of the lineup, losing to Cleveland. Have we mentioned Bradley Beal at all tonight? <laughs> Here's Beal racing against Maxi, lays it in. Dude still has quicks. How about that changing of ends? The age of 32. Harris, it's for two, got it. 12 turnovers for the Sixers to 10 for Washington. Westbrook is Beal is out of the game here to start the fourth. Robin Lopez. Sixers not as hot as they once were, but Smith got all the way in and Smith against the taller Simmons. Mm. Beautiful reverse, got it done. We're locked at 117. The latest run for the visitors. Sixers having to execute now on this end of the floor. Curry dipping in, going to the glass for a timely deuce. Adding to a season high, give him 24. The deliberate pump fake, convincing enough. Well, Embiid now locking on to Beal. It's for two. Mm. Got it! Mm. Adding to his career high, give him 59. So even he's shooting like over 60%. Bertans for a three. Got it. Wizards lead by a point. Davis Bertans. Go to work. Embiid fouled. Count it. Joel Embiid. Stops. Their lead is at four. Stops. That's what it's about from now on. You have to get stops. Westbrook. Mm. Wow, he plowed over Embiid. You would think a guy with his experience with no late game situations. Not on that. It's a lob for Embiid. Got it! And a foul! More important down the stretch, in my humble opinion, to have the defense stand up. Because your offense can sputter, but your defense will win it for you. Russell Westbrook, his third three of the game. He's got 19. Embiid right now wrestling with Bryant. The double by Westbrook. The spot of Simmons. Mm. Yes! And a foul! A brilliant play by MB to find Simmons, who will go to the line looking for one more. And then presumably miss the second. Well, I can tell you. The miss goes after that miss, and in doing so, crashes to the wood, and that will do it. No whistle, the game ends, and the Sixers win a wild one tonight.